My face is right. Hey, gamers! I am Kay Purcell, lead editor of Gaming Trend, and I am here today to play a little bit of Little Dragons Cafe. Now, this is a game by uh, Mr. Wada, who created the Harvest Moon series. Um, let's go with a girl this time. And I am Kay Damphir, so we're gonna do... So I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch, and uh, if you... Oops. If you're playing this on the Switch, you will have the ability to go touch screen and just tap this in, but... Uh, I'm playing this docked for this stream, so we're doing it manually. Okay. My helper's name. He could be Ren. That's cool. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Scott! Is this not showing up? Uh-oh. Okay, we might have a problem, Houston. Close. Okay, brilliant. My capture card has apparently decided that while it's working fairly well, it's not actually going to show us gameplay. So let's try messing with this. Sorry! Uh, I will say this game is ridiculously adorable. Uh, I've logged more hours than I should probably admit to on it. Um, I actually got really, really stuck at one point and had to reach out to Axis for a little bit of help. And they were like, uh, you've gotten farther than anyone in the U.S., so we're going to ask Japan for help on this. <laughs> it was working last night when I tested. Why are you being a jerk? Let's just do this. Thanks for bearing with me, Scott. <laughs> I'm only allowed to show the first couple hours of this. So, uh... We'll see how far I can get. I've played through this entry part um, three or four times now, so I might actually blow through it in like an hour. Technical difficulties with streaming. It's such fun. Good news. The capture card is thinking about it. I think I said to you, I sent you an email. I don't know why I didn't get your email when you first sent it. I just replied to you the other day. I'm so sorry it took me so long. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, this game has been a complete treat to play so far. Please, why is this not working for me? Let's try another USB port. Maybe that's the rub. Okay, I'm going to kill this, I'm going to close OBS, I'm going to try this all again, because I don't know why it's not behaving. Be right back, apologies for the false start. <laughs> Okay, I think we are back, and uh, this is the new capture card. <laughs> this is the one that Mike loaned me. That is very awesome. Anyhow, here we go. Axis Games. Uh, Little Dragon's Cafe, a brand new property by Mr. Wada, the creator of the Harvest Moon series. Um, I 
said before, this is going to be out on Nintendo Switch and also for the PlayStation 4 week from tomorrow. OBS just wanted to take a quick nap. That was all, apparently. <laughs> um, so, Switch. I've mostly played this in dock mode, where it's really awesome when you're entering names because you can tap a tap a tap of them, but we're playing it docked for the stream, so I get to manually enter things. Uh, Mr. Wada said in my interview, which is in the description, uh, that it actually starts out a little bit slow with load times, but they do speed up throughout the game, and surprisingly, I actually found that to be true. So, here we go. I am Damphy, K. Damphir, so that's who we're playing as. I'm not Damp Six. Damphy, there we go. And, hey Scott, do you want to be my helper? You can be my helper today. You're going to do most of the talking in the game, just so you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cutscene! So you don't get to customize the characters uh, and their appearances, but they do um, change outfits when they go outside. can hear that chirping, but I have a hummingbird who sits outside my window and screams all day. It's very funny. <laughs> He's just yelling. Hi, burb. never had a hummingbird be this consistently loud for this long. It's very funny. <laughs> nope! That's the natural ambiance of my new apartment. I slept fine, Scott. Thank you. Right stick controls, camera, you talk to people with the A button. I still insist that uh, A is relative because it switches depending upon which console you're playing. Thanks guys, can we just agree where the A button's gonna be? Okay, moving on. So, for some reason, isn't that convenient? There's all sorts of doggy looking toys already here. Look at that thing. And we're so rich, Scott, we have an elevator in our house. Pretty rad, huh? <laughs> it is beautiful outside. I'd live in a sketchy, pretty world like this. Lots of customers. There's like a basic tutorial, there's a long tutorial, and then the game kind of starts after the first um, hour or so, depending on how fast you play. And uh, we're only going to play the actual basic, uh, the, the long tutorial, because I have to stop playing when the actual story parts of the game start. Uh, but we're going to adjust some settings here, because... I want camera speed fast. There we go. I like text to just appear. Let's just make text happen. Okay. Does that work? Read 
talking faster now, Scott? We're going out the back door because the front door is for customers. Um, it... I can... Uh, try to think of mathematically and it feels like it's a decent amount of time. I think, um... I think, like, every second is ten minutes or so. You'll see. It doesn't take that long, but you still get plenty done. Uh, one thing that's really nice about this game, one of my uh, gaming trend editors actually asked, um, on a scale of Harvest Moon to Animal Crossing, where does this fall? Uh, it's definitely more on the Animal Crossing side, but it's also kind of Animal Crossing with more of a point to it. Uh, I definitely feel like there's, uh, sorry, every minute is 10 minutes in this game. Um, so I definitely feel like there's a lot to do all day. I'm definitely filling up every minute of every day with things to do. Uh, you can also stay up all night. You can also go right to bed without uh, losing anything other than harvestability. Oh. <laughs> Ron, you sassy thing, you. Okay. So another thing that's nice is you really don't have to mess too much with inventory management because every time you walk into the cafe here, it will automatically take everything out of your bag and stick it into storage. I love this look. Like, can we just talk about how cute this little pop-up, hand-drawn, storybook, kitchen, dining area feels? Like, this, I saw this screenshot and went, what the frick is this game? And it meshes really nicely with the outside world, which also has all of the kind of hand-drawn, hand scribbled textures. Um, I'm just in love with this silly little game, guys. It's so happy. Yes, yes, I can pick eggs up off the ground. Thanks, Mom. the girl's little um, hairpiece. It's little dragon wings and, you know, batty dragon wings, and I just love it. It's so cute. I want one. Okay, we're gonna take an order. The good news is you don't have to do a whole lot of remembering things. Um, while you start off doing a lot of stuff around the cafe in the tutorial, you actually can get away with doing very, very little um, customer management and all that throughout the make that face. My cooking skills aren't that bad. <laughs> yes, I can handle it. I told you, Scott. I can handle it. So, uh, the first time I played this game, uh, in front of Mr. Wada, I couldn't get the cooking rhythm game right because it was saying, you know, the directional buttons and the A, B, X, Y buttons, and uh, I thought that meant, you'll see there are arrow buttons, and I thought that meant you have to like pull the directional pad and then press a button, and you don't. You use the little arrow buttons down here. Like I made it so much more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, so here is a cooking mini game. Let's do the thing. It gets more complex uh, the further you get into the game, the more ingredients you use. Uh, also, some songs have uh, faster beats than others, so it can, can get to be pretty tricksy. Not quite. I didn't get an excellent. If you, Unless you hit every single one excellent, you won't get five stars or five chef hats. Right? Those eggs like jiggle around and it's kind of scary. There's a pudding that does that also. Um, which, you know, maybe you should doubt my cooking skills, Scott. Ah, there we go. 
Look at those eggs jiggle. customer. He's just all smiles. Okay, here we go. Even the loading screens are adorable. Okay, so... Um, so this thing, if you saw, uh, in the distance it had like a little sparkle on it, that means it's going to produce things that you can pick. If you see behind me over there, there's a bush with like butterflies around it. Those butterflies, whenever you see them, means that there's something you can harvest from that spot. But apparently we're not supposed to be harvesting things yet. So we're going to run down to the beach to see what washed ashore. a little bit of a sparkle here. This is eventually going to produce something. And look! There's catbirds! Run away, catbirds! I love you, catbirds! Okay. Now I'm focusing. Extravagant meat dish recipe. Uh, another cool thing, you can run wherever you want in the game, and if you press the minus button on the switch, I'm sure there's a button for it on the PS4. I don't know what it's going to be. Press minus, and you can return to the cafe instantly. I love not having to backtrack. We are home. I didn't see you out there, Scott. Ron, and I will not stand for you slandering them. Sure, I'll go clean up also. automatically does it for you. Hey, Ping! How are you? I have to bring this to our Electronauts party because you're going to die for this game. Here we go. Specific, like onion plants. There are these awesome multi vegetable shrubs that will just grow everything from onions to cabbages to all celery to all sorts of weird stuff. Um, and of course, everything has ratings. Shiny is the best because Pokemon, obviously. Um, so here I'm getting onion, onion. Are we getting all onion this time? So they made a liar out of me. This time it was just onions. there's anything else we need to do right now. So let's bring on the onions. Oh, I hope 
hope you get something you can play it on soon because it is just incredibly relaxing and fun and stupidly happy. Oh yeah, did I mention there's fishing? There's fishing! Fishing games are my crack. We get to fish. super early tutorial mode. Everything we're doing is kind of restricted, but um, like I said, once you get just a tiny bit further in the game, you can run around and do whatever you want, whenever you want. You have so much freedom. Uh, the game doesn't even actually track days, so it's not like it's, you know, day four, season one, year one, whatever. Uh, you can just decide, you know what? Uh, I'm tired of playing and I'm going to go to bed, because uh, you can only save by sleeping. And if you sleep early, to it except that you haven't harvested everything you can potentially harvest for that day. Here we go! Click, black, twice. We go cook with that. Run, catbirds! Run! Okay. So this is one of the rare fishing games where you actually don't want to fish by ear. You want to fish for the exclamation point because the fish actually make a noise before you're supposed to pull up the bobber. definite little fishing points. You can't just cast anywhere in the machines. And this is uh, a fishery. What's cool is any fish that you catch, as soon as you've caught it, uh, it will start populating in this. It will grow uh, slowly over time, and then once every couple days or so, you can actually just harvest a bunch of fish to cook with. So the game makes it pretty easy to manage your time and collect everything that you need. So, like I said, on a scale of Harvest Moon to Animal Crossing, it's a little more Animal Crossing, but it still gives you lots of reasons to explore. If you want really rare, shiny ingredients to really up the quality of your recipes, you're going to have to do more exploring. No motion controls for fishing. That would be really cool, though. Okay. How much do we have left to do, Mom? Give me open world. Uh-oh, guys. It's about to get dark in here. Okay, guys. I, I, there's going to be a little bit of delay here because uh, I'm a little bit ahead of the stream. But what do we want for breakfast tomorrow? This is a very important question that will impact the rest of this gameplay. Meat, fish, or veggies? Shout it out. Aw, 
concerned little Scott. And up we go to bed. Not too much. Uh oh. So this is cool. Any cutscene that you really liked, any favorite character, you can go through and rewatch um, the text or the little cutscene. Okay, here we go, guys. It's gonna be a dark tomorrow. Okay guys, she's still breathing. Deep breaths. Nobody cry. Probably see a doctor if you think that's the thing, because we're learning things here, guys. You are matching together well. <laughs> it's so stimulating being your hat. <laughs> okay, bring on the harmony. here, man. <laughs> we'll give it lots of love. We'll give it lots of love. Mmm, giant, delicious, Hey, hey, I can cook. I can cook, man. Also, is it weird that he has ghost feet? Lots of energy for 
the road ahead. I mean, I like a game that encourages me to eat, but it looks like, once again, the girl's doing all the cooking. suddenly in my house and like demanding I feed him. Yeah? You do look suspicious. <laughs> hey, Scott's got my back. Scott, you're very trusting. Let's have some breakfast. We. Oui. What's this we you're talking about here? Ooh, it's shaking. <laughs> Examine the egg. It's moving inside. It must be close to hatching. This egg will hatch soon. Pokemon humor. Okay. Let's make an egg. So I cook. There we go. Four stars. I'll take it. All of the food, like every recipe in this game, is uniquely drawn and everything looks delicious. I have eaten more than I should, and the egg's still moving just because of how delicious all of this food looks. What patience! Let's see how it is. His snaggle tooth bothers me. It just does. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Incredible talent. There's this one, like, meat and vegetable bowl thing that just, the first time I saw it, my stomach literally crumbled. This egg will hatch soon! So our dragon is blue because we chose to eat fish. The color of your dragon will deter be determined by what meal you eat for breakfast. How cute is that? It's so cute! Okay guys, what are we gonna name it? I vote Fluffy. That's all I'm saying. What are we're not calling it Draco because that's boring. What are we calling this dragon? Shout it out. And waiting for real time to meet up with the stream. <laughs> I, uh, my first playthrough, first real playthrough, I made my dragon purple, and uh, I ended up calling it Lockheed because I'm such an expert nerd, and I got so mad anytime the color would change to not be the exact color of purple. Okay, okay, we'll nightshade this thing. If Scott gets a shout out, Ron can have a shout out. A lot of, uh, we could even put an exclamation point if we wanted to, but we won't. Nightshade! Oh. And Nightshade's hungry. Yeah. Gluttonous old man, give it to the dragon. Baby needs a snack. So, 
if you look in the lower left corner, there's a little stamina bar that will go down right now just while the dragon's running around, but there will be other ways to deplete it in the future. Uh, everything you cook has a color. Well, not everything. A few things are colorless. But when you feed the dragon, you can see little dragon colors. You can actually change the color of your dragon based on what you feed it. Uh, so we're going to give it a sunny side up. Uh, see, there's no dragon dye, so this isn't going to change its color. maybe running a cafe taking care of themselves and entrepreneurs man wow not cool man not cool that burns we can handle it we can handle it old creeper yeah this guy just moves in like I have I have my raises his health. Um, you can call the dragon over with the Y button. And we're going to go explore some stuff and try to collect some recipes. This is the Are you guys ready? This is the cutest damn thing. Oh! Pet the baby dragon! I love it! Okay. Okay. Collecting myself. What's up, Scott? Thanks. Appreciate your help, man. yet, but eventually you can hug the dragon and it breaks me. It legitimately breaks me. Ever ten. Ever ten. Okay, I only have one egg over here. So, butterflies around the tree. Don't shake this tree and get us some fruit. And you can continue shaking, 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 and collecting things until the butterflies go away. Dragon hugs, yes. Colorful dragon hugs. There's like 32 different colors a dragon can become. It's just, it is so, so stupidly happy. So yeah, I'm getting carrots and cabbages and an onion out of the same bush. I don't understand it. How do science? But okay. Let's just go with it. So, uh, the cafe's reputation and customer satisfaction and all that's going to come later. We're not actually going to be messing with that, because none of that actually starts to matter or actually show up much until after I'm not allowed to show you anymore. So you'll just have to, uh, deal with some of that on your own. Outdoor pets, too, and a little tail wags! I spend probably half my time in this game just petting the dragon. Hey, Shade! Come help me! Come help me, buddy! Come on! Oh, search. Here we go. Y calls, A searches, so I keep pressing the call button when I'm trying to have him search. Yay! And he brings me a meat! Much like in Harvest Moon, there's fishing, and there's no actual, like, hunting or killing of animals, but, uh, you can actually 
have encounters with monsters that will cause them to, um, as Mr. Wada put it, drop an ingredient. The ingredient being meat. <laughs> We'll get to monsters a little bit later. Right now we're all in a happy fluffy land of fishes and veggies. More rice! Can't cook with it yet. Give me a little time. Here, I'm so cute! Technically the dragon's an ant, so it can be male or female, but it just screams little, little cute boy dragon to me. Oops. Glitchy. There we go. Thanks! Oh, that's still sparkling. You can get another. There we go. Two meats. Catbirds! And another ingredient. Another recipe. I'm sure there's a progression as to how you can get better ingredients out of harvesting spots. I haven't fully figured out exactly what that progression is yet. Um, I'm uh, eventually, we'll see this in a bit, you can actually fertilize some of these spots to ensure better uh, quality products. But I swear they're getting to be more consistently higher quality the more I harvest from them. Um, I have not, like, science or mathed out exactly how frequently or progressively or anything like that happens. Um, so, let's take a look here. So these will be the dishes you've collected. Here are the ingredients that I've collected. The ingredients I've collected. And like I said, all these will automatically go into the fridge once I go back into the cafe. And I need one more recipe fragment for the hearty meat dish. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to find that. I missed a thing somewhere. Yeah, this, I've played a bunch of like, you know, I've played a bunch of RPGs, Battle Chasers, and uh, uh, South Park, The Fractured The Toll on Switch, and they all, you know, they're definitely playable, but the loading times are noticeable. This is for as large of a world as you eventually get to explore. Uh, the load times on this are quite impressively quick. Uh, so I really enjoy playing this on Switch. Okay, it's not gonna let me go that far. It'll slowly let you expand your uh, your boundaries within the world as you progress through the tutorial and the story. There it is. Hiding right by the house. Okay. And you can see, like, the day-night changes are just beautiful. Look at the color on this sunset. Like, I love how pretty this game is. I haven't seen season changes yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I would love to see this go into fall and winter, but uh, I'll take really beautiful, dramatic day-night changes. Okay. 
Oh, your stamina's low. Come here. Come here. I pet you. And you can see his little stamina gets a little bit of a bump. Feeding him an actual meal makes it go faster. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. I don't have any food on me. Creepy once again. Ah, steak. I'm gonna go get cooking. Don't boss me around, old man. You're not my real dad. Right now, you see those are all locked. Eventually, um, you will have the ability to add more ingredients to a dish, which will make it higher quality and change the taste of it. So you can make your customers happy and give them what they want. <laughs> Wonderfully salty steak roll. Oh, yay! So I can go ahead and add it to the menu. Update cafe menu. Put that on, and we've got. Oh. There we go. We're running out. That's okay. And then we're gonna go to bed because that's how we move the plot forward in this particular case. So cute! Also, Scott, you're a nervous sweeper, in case you didn't know. Welcome! Jeez, dude, insensitive. Mom's dead, okay? Hey! Hey! Rude! Thank you, middle brother. <laughs> oh, Pappy, you a sassy old man. You a sassy old man. It's like seven in the morning. He's like, yep, yeah, gotta go to bed. Night. Yeah, thanks, dude. We got three customers in, and you're just gonna go to your room and sleep. You're about to meet my favorite character this entire game. Mr. Wada said he couldn't pick a, a favorite. I have a favorite. It's Hungry Guy. <laughs> also, he has stripy sleeves. I love the stripy sleeves. If it weren't, you know, 85 degrees today, I'd probably be wearing stripy sleeves. Look at Nightshade! Just look at Scott with those adoring eyes. We're taking that picture. Find someone who looks at you the way that dragon looks at us while we're cooking. Nightshade agrees. Staples the way to go. The good news is it, it like leads you by the nose and tells you exactly which dishes to make so you don't have to sit there and be like, oh goodness, now I have to cook my way through the entire menu to see exactly what they want me to make. Um, so that's nice. Okay, so we're making this for uh, an event, so we're not going to use the good, the good steak. Hungry guy only gets the rubbish stuff because we just want to move the plot forward, not impress future customers. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, who said your dragon gets to eat it, huh? Hungry guy gets to eat it. Oh, I'm kind of getting hungry again, guys. Look at how pretty that food is. That's not fair. Oh, nom, 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 nom. He sure perked up, didn't he? <laughs> Hi, Miss Chick. Welcome to the stream. Make it as a musician. Of course, I like the stupid musician. Spoken like a true youngster. That's the problem with kids these days. They got no grit. Always trying to leave home. I love how grumpy these old guys are. <laughs> this young man is just finding his place in the world. Brothers asleep. We have to go after him. Get the Dino Dasher. Good job, Nightshade. You got this. You got this. We'd be lost without you, buddy. <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> Just go away! Good job, Ron. Thanks for having my back. Scott and I appreciate it. in a circle. Won't ever happen again. Youngsters these days. <laughs> that was still some fine running. Die of starvation after one meal. Mm -hmm. excited about this game, guys. Ah, <laughs> my blood slow so enough to work anymore. <laughs> I feel like we're giving you a lot of choice, dude. Good work, Ron. Good work today, Nightshade. Even the, the narrator agrees. I'm waiting to find out who the narrator is still. Have my theories. Don't know yet. Who do you guys think the narrator is going to be? Okay, let's cook a thing so that Nightshade doesn't go hungry. He's down with whatever. Do I have enough to do sunny side up? I do. Make some eggs for a drago. Oh look, I did it perfect. Okay, let's add that to the menu. So, yeah, uh, you'll eventually get customers in, and they will have Yelp-style uh, reviews of your dishes and cooking. Uh, 
Uh, and those will depend on how many stars you cook the recipe at, or chef's hat you cook the recipe with, and also the quality of your ingredients, which are the stars up top. So uh, if you keep updating your dishes with better quality ingredients and just updating it whenever you do a really, really solid cooking spree, uh, you will get better feedback. That said, some of the uh, negative feedback, if you have a really bad dish, is freaking hilarious to read. Uh, so there's there's a different kind of joy in doing a poor job of cooking. And yes, it's definitely got some Cooking Mama vibes. Uh, it's definitely pretty chill. Um, the good news is you also really only have to cook enough to move the story forward and keep your dragon fed. So if you don't want to deal with the cooking minigame, uh, you can spend surprisingly little time in this game actually doing your cooking. Um, but I mean, who wouldn't want to be cooking for their own baby dragon? Like, let's be real here. There's a little bit of Ruin Factory. Um, no fighting at all. There's no fighting, no weapons. Um, again, eventually we'll get to, I don't know if I'm gonna get be able to get to the point where the dragon can actually headbutt monsters for you, um, but that's the only way you can, uh, anything close to fighting you do is just having your little dragon go and headbutt some monsters. Yay, I can explore further. Okay, so, like in Harvest Moon, you have your own little garden. However, this is very much a set it and forget it thing. Um, you, anything that you collect out in the world will automatically be grown in your garden. So once again, you're not having to spend every free moment hunting for ingredients if you don't want to. Um, it will automatic things will automatically grow in time. You harvest them, and you can also get manure and use that to make things grow faster. Hi, Ducky Bird. Let's see what we can harvest, and then we'll go do a little bit of exploration, see if we can find another ingredient. the garden, however, um, you also don't need to expand the garden. It automatically just grows a decent amount of everything you collect. It's a surprisingly hands-off system. Uh, so if you're kind of looking for some harvest moon, resource management, seasonal decision things, it's not there. Anything you get will automatically be in that garden, uh, which could be a positive or a negative depending on your outlook. Uh, I know, Billy. But you were a jerk, so we basically enslaved you to the cafe for life. It sucks to be you. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. I wanted to pet Nightshade and watch his stamina go back up a little bit, and then we'll feed him. So you can see the uh, in the steak bowl, there's dragon colors, and these will impact Nightshade's colors. So if we feed him... Uh, a steak bowl, he will, his stamina gauge will fill up, and if we keep feeding him steak bowls, he'll eventually start to turn purple and then red. And he can go green, yellow, teal, all sorts of colors. Uh, I at one point had him this really, really funky fuchsia pink that looked amazing when the sun set. I don't even refer to my belongings. It's like assigned a gender. eventually, but they're not letting us through yet. So, yes! And that will actually change the, uh, in, with your dragon's progression too. Uh, it's ridiculously cute, and if, obviously if you're playing as a boy, 
the uh, silhouette would be of the boy character. So, egg birds. We're not going to do anything for us right now, but now if we run back to the cafe, there will be three birds chilling around the cafe instead of two. And uh, they will lay an egg every morning. Eventually, they like wander away and go back to where they were. So, while well, you don't have to constantly be out wandering uh, the world, you do want to continually return to certain places because you want to keep catching those egg birds so you can keep harvesting the eggs. places and uh, you can see little roadblocks along the way that will eventually open up. Little islands over there. The shadows you can see like stretch and move as the sun sets which is just amazing. This little world just feels really alive and full and I really really love it for that. It's not, you know, stationary. It's not just the sun changing. The shadows stretch. The... And uh, even ingredients and things you can collect change depending on if it's day or night. So if you go fishing at night, there's a chance you'll get different items than if you go fishing during the day. There we go. Four recipe fragments. Let's go back to the cafe and move this story forward. This isn't fair. Occasionally, will toss me a recipe ingredient or a, a recipe fragment. Um, it's definitely not as critical as like chatting up people in Harvest Moon, but there's a there is quite honestly no actual cooking rules applied to a lot of the flavorings in this uh, game. I made a sunny side up egg with sugar and soy sauce and everyone lost their minds it just has to do with um different customers will have different preferences so some will like salty some will like sweet so you can make something that sounds disgusting something that should be savory with a ton of sugar on it and characters that like sweet will be happy so uh, don't be afraid to completely ignore the rules of cooking oh billy you lazy jerk Tell him, Scott! Get him! Get him! an artist. Ten hours of sleep a day? I wish. Hmm. 
She appreciates us. She's also, they just stole my hairpiece. She stole my hairpiece. My little dragon hairpiece. <laughs> Classic cafe dish. Billy! Help us out here, buddy! Well, you know, we are the owner, Scott. I love Smiling Girl. She... Well, you'll see. She turns out to be an awesome little character. Look at Nightshade. He's so cute. She gonna be mad. She gonna be mad at me. Sorry, exotic girl. I'm new at this. Classic. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. She didn't rip me apart, that's good. First playthrough? Ooh, she had a thing to say. As I said before, um, some of you weren't here at the very start, but uh, when you play the, the cooking game, uh, I thought you were supposed to use the thumbstick and push a button, but no, you use the little, the little arrow keys down here. Um, so my first playthrough, I got nothing. I missed every single thing because I was trying to like, the little thumbstick and uh, you know really embarrassed myself in front of Mr. Wada. That was fun. <laughs> Big money jackpot. You 
us know how to run a cafe. We sure don't. We're 12. Never destroy another cafe, huh? I'm with Billy on this one. <laughs> well, that's settled. with her going Super Saiyan around us. <laughs> okay. New menus may help the cafe's reputation. Same old, same old. Pet the baby dragon. That's always the way you start the day. And... <laughs> Unbelievably scary. I love how much she terrifies Billy. Through this entire game, she just terrifies him. Got anything for me, Scott? Nope. Okay. I'll ask you again later, buddy. So I think we get to play through one more character, and then uh, we gotta call it quits, and you'll have to see the rest for yourself after the game comes out. But we get to go a little bit further. No ingredients, no dishes. And exploration rate increased. Like I said, everything you collect out in the world, um, except for fish, will start to grow in the garden. That includes, oddly enough, meat. Is anyone else having, like, Digimon vibes from that? Meat fields? That always creeped me out about Digimon. Um, but yeah, so this is all stuff that I collected. I'm growing sugar and salt, apparently. I like that you can grow salt, and you can grow meat, and you can farm grow eggs. Only meaning to eggplant? IDK. Okay, so like I said, we caught those uh, egg birds earlier, so they're chilling out around here. And the last one. There we are. And we could go down and do all the, the stuff we've done before, but we are less concerned about ingredients right now and moving on with the plot. So we're gonna go chase down some more recipe fragments and see what we can find. Oh yay! That barrier is gone. Thanks, construction worker! I appreciate! I do, I do. Sugar and salt. Nice. Two veggie dishes. Okay. actually tried to say that word out loud. They are monsters and they are made of meat, as you can tell by the bone coming out of its butt. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do some hunting and uh, if I'm going to be completely and utterly honest, the hunting mechanic is my least favorite part of this game, but that's okay because you can grow meat. So once you up, oh, so they will charge you and if they hit you, they will actually steal one of your dishes from your inventory. So you can ah, go away, monster! You're gonna have to get up behind them and get close enough for Lockheed, not Lockheed, for Nightshade to hunt him for you. And it's not letting me. Oh, I guess I can't hunt him yet. Uh, I think right now I just have to avoid them because Lockheed is. Because Nightshade! Is it big enough? Yeah, okay, I can't hunt him. So that's what happens if they collide with you. They just take your ingredients and eat them, because that's what a monster can do. Um, there's no hit points in this game. There's no um, game over. 
If you run out of ingredients when they hit you, you know, there's no real penalty other than the shame of a monster outdoing you. Once your dragon gets a little bit bigger, you can actually call your dragon over and have it uh, headbutt your the, the bad monster and turn it into an ingredient, as Mr. Wada put it, that ingredient being a delicious, delicious piece of meat, at which point they disappear into a cloud. Um, I enjoyed that that's how they got around. There's no violence in this game, there's no fighting, there's no hunting, but if you have your dragon ram into a monster, they turn into delicious, delicious meat. Okay, we got some bacon. We're going to feed a dragon. Give it another red. See if this color will change tomorrow for you guys to see. Oh. Okay. My shade just decided to bring me more meat. Oh. Oh, that's funny. It glitched out a little bit. That's adorable. Ah, I didn't get the picture. Okay. Well, he ate the thing. Uh, he just, I pushed the button while he was in the middle of exploring the cave, so we got a funky little, fun little error. Okay, here we go. So here we have another duck bird, uh, egg bird that we can switch. So, yakky birds. Uh, these can't do you any harm, but again, you, uh, you get to hunt them yourself, you don't need your dragon for aid, you just run up and headbutt them, and they turn into a cloud of smoke and a piece of meat. But they're back tomorrow, so we're clearly not hunting them to extinction or anything. Okay, so we're eventually going to get to that area, but right now, we don't get to. Do we have all the pieces? No, what are we missing? that doki skewer recipe. So, anyone see anything that looks like a recipe piece chilling out anywhere that we can collect? Should be over here. Oh, but you know what? It might have washed up on shore. So, let's do that. Um, the game does encourage you to go back to places you've been before. Um, right! I've, I've played this so long that I occasionally forget and just take them for granted. Um, it's really nice because you get all sorts of different views uh, of the island depending upon where you climb, where you go. So you can end up with some really breathtaking, uh, really breathtaking scenes where like you're watching the sunset and you're near a mountain, so you know the the mountain shadow just comes and casts over you, and it's just really, really beautiful. It really makes the game feel alive. Where are you, Nightshade? So a lot of times, like, you'll start a new chapter and there will just be, like, three recipe fragments chilling down here. But, not today. Uh, the good news is, even though I'm, like, 12, my mom's in a coma, so uh, I don't have to go to bed. So we're going to keep hunting for this recipe fragment, because the story's not going to move forward until we do so. That I know where I missed it. I thought I didn't go all the way around that little bridgey thing. Stop making me want bacon! These things are recipe fragments that are buried under rubble that we can't get to, and I did walk right by it. There we are. Veggies and dipping sauce. Wait. That wasn't the doki skewers. <sighs> I got overly excited that I found a missing recipe, and I got... So while I'm out adventuring, um, 
collecting ingredients and finding new places, uh, my crew stays behind and takes care of customers. However, you also uh, help out around the cafe. Uh, you can take orders and all that. You get um, ranked and like complimented for helping out. The game is like, do your part. Um, but you don't actually have to help out in the cafe at all if you don't want to. Uh, however, everyone... Mr. Wada described these characters as a bunch of losers. Um, he was like, every person in this game is a loser. Every person in this game has issues. And, uh, like, your, your helper gets, like, overwhelmed and starts nervous sweeping instead of, like, actually helping customers. While, um, um, uh, Impata, I don't think that's how you say her name, but that's all I'm coming up with right now. Uh, she gets mad. She'll just get angry and sulk in the corner and just be really mad and not helping people. Billy uh, sneaks off to the side and starts playing his guitar, so you kind of have to keep an eye on them uh, and scold them if they are not doing their job. They will go through and continue serving customers and helping people out while you're not there. Oh, there's one! Um... And the game will actually pop up a little notification and let you know if uh, people are slacking. So you can fast travel back to the uh, to the cafe. Come on, Nightshade, you're hungry. So you can fast travel back to the cafe and like poke them to get back to work. And help out if you want to. If service takes too long, then your, uh, your Yelp reviews will start and your reputation will start to go down. Reputation isn't vital to the game, however, if you don't maintain, like, a certain level uh, of customers pleased, which is ridiculously easy to maintain. It is not something you really have to be crazy concerned about. Um, but if you so just ignore everything constantly, then uh, you won't be able to progress to future chapters. Okay. Oh, I have to ask the old man to put it together first. Up the stairs we go. Um, this is what you've seen me do is more cooking uh, than you will probably do at any later point in the game. So, whenever you feed your dragon, he poops. And then you get to fertilize your garden with dragon poop. Because, huzzah, uh, nothing like organic gardening. Uh, you can also use the um, manure to uh, cause grow spots to replenish their supplies more quickly. So if you really need veggies, you can go uh, drop more fertilizer on the veggie place and get you more onions. Okay. Staying out late does absolutely nothing uh, to your stamina the next day, to any time of game progression. There's no starting later because you stayed out late, so um, that kind of aspect of Harvest Moon has just been completely removed. And everyone's really expressive, like, and I, everything's really sketchy, really overdone, while also being understated. Um, it just makes me really happy. Okay, there we go. And now on to meet the last member of our little cafe crew. After a nap. Uh, also, you can stay out all night and just start into the next day. Um, there isn't a, uh, oh, if you're out at this time, you'll automatically go to bed and lose your place wherever you are. Um, you just get to keep going. Pet the dragon. I love how 
much he infuriates her. I'm actually pretty busy right now. You're thinking about life, right? I'm tired of hearing you say that. Think about the cafe. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Um, you can start changing the dragon's colors pretty much right away. Uh, I don't think you were here at the start, Skitty, but um, you actually get to pick from one of three colors at the start of the game, depending upon what you eat for breakfast. Uh, so red will be... If you eat meat, he's red. If you eat fish, he's blue. If you eat... Uh, uh, veggies, he's yellow or green. I actually haven't gone the veggie route yet, uh, but he'll end up one of those colors. And then the more you uh, feed him uh, different foods of certain colors, the more his colors will change that way. Um, so it starts pretty early on. It's not like you feed him this and he automatically turns that color. You have to keep consistently feeding him food of that color to make the pigments and the scales change. I kind of want those little wing glasses. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of all about the little, little chibi wing things. And I would totally steal that mini top hat. I am all about the mini top hats. Please sit on me, it cried. Uh-huh, okay, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna scroll past that. <laughs> Best suited to my wonderful taste. <laughs> face. I'm so not sure about this guy. <laughs> yep. Hey, Billy. When has Billy ever been help? Like, I need to knock some manners into this thing. Skull of his. All up to us now. Well, we just made a new recipe, so I'm guessing that's what we're gonna do. And we got some new folks in the street, so uh, we are... The good thing about this is it basically tells you what you have to make, so you're not sitting there going, well, I guess I better cook my way through the menu, you know, what did I recently get? Uh, it tells you straight up what to make. I'm just using the things I have the most ingredients of, but like, um, so if you look here, like, the cabbage is sweet, the uh, onion is spicy, so last time we did a carrot, which is sweet, but this time we'll do a radish, which is spicy, so we have two spicy, two a sweet. And it will actually change the names of these dishes. Uh, physically, they don't look any different, but the names look different. Ah, I missed it! It's okay, an NPC dish. Don't judge me, guys.
ridiculous this game is and how it's just like, yep, this is what it's gonna be. Come on over to just watch me cook. Alright, sure. as far as the game is. Um, from about this point forward, uh, something's gonna happen to soonish with our, our little buddy. Um, maybe I can get that far. I've, I've played this through enough times that I don't entirely remember exactly when things happen, but maybe we can show a little bit more before my embargo hits. So, you can use, uh, manure to make stuff in the garden grow more quickly. You can also use it to make the fish spawn in the fishery. Let's see. Um, so early on, I was, my first playthrough, I was really, really focused on use the manure to get higher quality ingredients, um, but that, the higher quality ingredients kind of start coming on their own the more you play. So, uh, if you're looking for, you know, pro tips, I would say, um, spend your time exploring and collecting new items. Oh, see, the staff is slacking, so we're going to pop back into the cafe. And here she is being pouty in the corner. And then, Billy's over here playing his freaking guitar. Hey, yeah, you got caught, buddy. doing fine. Um, so you can kind of talk to people. Ah, wait, come back. Come back, bro. Oh, see? Scott's a nervous sweeper. Uh, he gets frustrated and flustered and goes and sweeps in the corner. So sometimes if you talk to your customers, they'll actually give you ingredients. So uh, you can talk to people and then... Ah, I was I'm trying to help, but I didn't get to the thing in time. Uh, you can help by you can help your team by taking orders, by delivering dishes, and then by cleaning up afterwards. Uh, but right, I would love a little hang glider. But uh, without giving too much away, though, if you look at I have a video from later in the game that they let me record. Uh, definitely develop a much faster method of transport and are able to explore much, much further in a very, very fun way. here, which means we're going to be able to go get another little piece of an ingredient. Go away, monster! I can't fight you yet! You're a jerk! Come here, birdie! I'm going to make meat out of you! Oh, nope, that one didn't go away. Okay, get to some more sprout. Come back! I want to make you meat! Uh, 
so yeah, we've had a couple people swap in and out. Anyone have any more questions I can try to answer as I try to figure out where my exploration range expanded into? Ah! You jerk! So, uh, you see the monster just charged me, I wasn't paying attention, and he took my pancakes. How rude. No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna feed it to the fish, but... So just like you can drop manure in the, in the garden and make the garden grow faster, you can drop manure in the fishery and make the new fish spawn quickly. So yeah, I would say focus on, um, you, you know, forage your manure. <laughs> That's a fun statement I never thought I'd say. Uh, for use in your garden and in your fishery, depending upon if you need more veggies and meat or if you need more um, fish recipes. Um, because higher quality ingredients, you'll you'll get them as you go. I can't tell if it's... I can't yet figure out if it's from... Uh, like a skill that you built up from constantly harvesting, or if it's from constantly harvesting the same spots, but you definitely slowly collect better and better ingredients as you progress through the game uh, with regularity. Okay, a simple recipe. If we come down here, we get another recipe, and there's a little fishing spot. Pick a noodle dish. Again, for those who weren't here earlier, uh, again, fishing tips are don't, uh, don't listen. Look, you don't want to pull when the fish make the noise. You want to pull when the exclamation point comes over your head. And thank you guys for watching this stream. It was so much fun. I've been, like, playing this quietly for about a week now and trying to, like, verb to people how delightfully charming and engrossing this little game is, and it's really nice to be able to share it. Simple Dish 3. That didn't get enough. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna keep exploring then. I am ridiculously passionate about anything that I like, and if I don't like it, I'm ridiculously passionate about how much I don't like it. There is no gray in my world. Only purple. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh, we gotta feed a dragon. He's hungry. Um, so if you look here, we'll try to remember this when I go back to the cafe and we'll check what's on the menu. But uh, this is a supremely, slightly sweet. Okay, maybe... Maybe it didn't register the two spicy ingredients I put in. If you put in a bunch of spicy ingredients or a bunch of spicy flavorings, it'll actually say something like uh, supremely slightly spicy or that sort of thing. The first little bit will talk about how well you cooked it. The next little bit will tell you kind of the flavorings of it. And, uh, oops. Come here, Nightshade. And as I said before, um, the, the regular rules of cooking, like your taste buds, don't actually apply to this game. If, uh... The idea of dumping a bunch of soy sauce and sugar on your eggs repulses you. There will be at least one person in this game who that becomes their favorite dish, and they will tell you all about it in the Yelp reviews. Getting all of the recipes, but not enough to actually complete one. There's another duck bird, so we can, or egg bird, so we can get us another egg to harvest. Okay, there we go. So, quick travel, return to the cafe. Weird little nitpicky thought. I wish the dragon ran behind me when I ran, because he trails behind me in the game. But, uh, super minor nitpicky thing. I guess it'll make sense later in the game when, spoiler alert, the dragon isn't so small. So, uh, 
Bukio here does all the cooking for me, but I have to cook a recipe initially and put it on the menu in order for him to be able to cook it. So he apparently learns by example. The more he cooks, uh, the better he'll become at making the dish, the more ingredients you can add, including a secret ingredient. Um, and that is just caused by keeping a... Whoa, I got a bunch of recipes, didn't I? That's just caused by keeping the, or unlocked by keeping the uh, dish on the menu for a long time. tomorrow, because I may be ending this play pretty soon, but we may get a little bit more play out of it. And then I can, like, eat in real life. Like, I'm tired of feeding other people. I want to, like, feed myself. <laughs> I want food to go here. Now that we have more staff members, I think it's time we increase the size of the cafe. that little exclamation point when you fill the bar to that level uh, a new guest will appear you can see the status of the staff if they're calm all is good if they uh, stop working that will pop up and tell you that they're frustrated or slacking or stressed or whatever um, so now we're kind of getting into the meat of the actual game so we're gonna go out and grab some ingredients until it's lunchtime satisfaction up and see how far the story will progress because I think we've collected everything we can as far as recipe fragments go at this point. Two, fair because who doesn't want to hug that little guy when he's that size? I like her little 
travel a little bit. The boys is also cute, but not as cute as the girls. Is it lunch done yet? Almost. get a custom graphic for whatever it is they ordered that day, which is also really cute. An upkit- oh, ratatouille! Okay, buddy, like, you're huge and blocking the way to the cooker. Thank you. Let's see, I think ratatouille is one of the more challenging ones. Let's see. Oh no. I guess I don't have a celery, so I can't make a ratatouille. Uh, let's do a pudding. I can do that. That's an egg. Egg and sugar. Some of the songs are kind of jazzy. One of them's kind of doo-woppy. Like I really dig. Not there's not like a unique song per dish, but there's definitely like a whole different range of tunes that you get to uh, to cook to. Oh, nervous sweeping! Nervous sweeping! What's up, buddy? There we go. Okay. wide world to see what we can collect before dinner time. Um, so like I said earlier in the stream, there's, while time marches on day by day, it doesn't even keep track of what day it is. Um, you know, there's no day one, summer, season one, year one, whatever. Um, if you wake up and run around and collect a couple veggies and decide, oh, you know, I need to go to work just go back to bed at 10 in the morning, you haven't lost anything. There's no uh, penalty for doing so. You just go to bed and start the next day. Um, there's no save button. The save is just going to bed. So it's nice that they gave you that little, that little easy break, especially if you're playing on uh, PlayStation as opposed to Switch when you can just, you know, put your console to sleep and not worry about it as much. Hey, brother! What's up? And yeah, 
uh, in case you guys are wondering, like, you know, this is an, an impressively big area that I'm running through. Um, we haven't actually even started the main part of the story yet. And the exploration range expands every time you start a new chapter of the story. Uh, also, in case you're worried about, like, I'm going to be running forever in this game, there are... There's going to be a way for you to travel much, much, much more quickly in the world. You can probably guess what that is, and like I said before, I have a video of exactly what that is, but for those of you who are trying to, you know, stay delightfully surprised by future elements of the game, I won't say what it is in the stream. recipes in the game, and according to Mr. Wada, you only need a handful of them in order to actually progress through the story. So, uh, for those of you with the Gotta Catch Em All uh, collector's vibe, there is a whole lot of uh, there are a whole lot of recipes you can go out and hunting for that aren't uh, critical to the story, but if you, you know, need to have all 100 possible items on your menu, you can do that. And then of course, for each item, you uh, have cooking skill and ingredient quality, so you can spend a whole lot of time just investing in I have to have a, four sh a five chef hats product with all stars filled in order to just be the best cafe in the world. You can do that. Is that what I just made? That is what I just made. Yay! Okay, what's next? We made a salad. What do I want in the salad? Should I do carrots? I've got a lot of carrots. The game is very, very huge. <laughs> Bye, Ron! Thanks for jumping in, fly safe! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of Nightshade while you're gone. tune. It makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. Update cafe menu. Okay. So, it's a little early for bed, but we're gonna go to bed just so I can show you guys the new, uh, the new thing we've unlocked, which is the cafe status, which will pop up at midnight every day or whenever you go to bed. Today's results. Um, so, you'll see the number of customers that you served. You also see the number of times that you helped. Uh, so, while you don't actually have to help out around the cafe, uh, the game kind of rewards you for helping out your buddies. Um, like I said, there's a little cafe reputation bar, and every time you reach that little exclamation point, a new character will join the game, and uh, the exclamation button will reset and so you have a new goal to go to. You can also see the ingredients you've gathered, how many recipes, you've, uh, fragments you've collected, and how many you've restored. Um, then over here you can start to see the satisfaction rankings. So you see um, the most ordered items and the items that people most liked. So uh, people liked that steak bowl but they also liked the, uh, the other thing more. So, probably because it's got five chef hats and the steak only has four. Okay, let's see if I can do a thing or if we gotta, if we gotta cut this short. So this might be the end of it. Come here, come here, I gotta pet a dragon every morning. It's the right way to start the day. wake up, you pet a dragon, and you go hunting for more ingredients. Um, as 
you unlock chapters, like I said, you get more and more areas to explore. So eventually, like, you know, early on, you can literally harvest every single thing, grab everything that pops up in your vicinity. If the game expands, that is not the case. You will end up uh, having, to, having to decide, okay, am I going to go to this area and get, like, the meat and mushrooms from over there, or am I going to go over to this area uh, in order to track down birds, and it becomes a little bit of a decision-making process, but again, it's not a, a crazy critical decision-making process, because all this stuff that you need to just run the cafe day by day will grow in your garden, uh, but you have a better chance of getting better ingredients if you go out and harvest them yourselves and track them down, so that's the reason you want to keep, keep exploring and keep going back to the other places. myself humming a little tune, and I'm like, oh, that's a little cafe tune. I start thinking about playing, and I start humming, you know, the song of whatever part of the world I'm thinking of. Um, also, while everything we've seen so far is, like, really, you know, green, country, um, and kind of normal-looking outside of bushes that, you know, grow, like, six different kinds of vegetables, um, there are areas that are very different. There's kind of a, a, a high, dry plains-looking area. There's a place where everything, like, the entire woods are pink. There's a place where uh, mushrooms grow everywhere, and it's kind of dark and woodsy. But I told you, if you catch an egg bird, they'll eventually wander back to where you originally got them from, so you just had to go grab those two and put them back on the farm so we can keep getting their eggs. Though, oddly enough, like, one of the first things I unlocked was making eggs and bacon, and surprisingly it didn't really sell for me. I don't know if it's going to be different, you know, on a second playthrough, but almost no one ordered eggs and bacon. And in a cafe, I'm a little bit offended, because who doesn't love bacon and eggs? I don't get it. Your menu is also pretty much completely up to your own tastes and decisions. Um, you need one recipe at a time to kind of push the plot forward, but after you've put that recipe on the menu and, you know, done that, whatever the NPC needs of you, you can take it off, you can swap it out. You'll definitely get more customer satisfaction, however, if you talk to your customers and figure out kind of what they're wanting to eat and customize your menu and tailor it to their desires, which do change over time, so it, it pays to constantly be tweaking your menu chatting with your customers and upgrading your ingredients. Um, but you can see I'm doing so much more less, so much more less, wow, I majored in English. I'm doing so much less cooking right now than I was, you know, just half an hour ago, because um, we've just reached that point in the game. I do need to cook so I can feed my dragon, though. He's good. Oh, I got enough. Um, and for those who didn't see it earlier, so... Each dish has a different dragon dye color. Not all dishes have them, but those that do, it'll say dragon colors. And if you feed your dragon those dishes, his scales will eventually turn blue or green or red and start gravitating towards that end of the color spectrum until they eventually become completely red or completely blue. I think Mr. Wada said that there's like 32 different colors total that the dragon can become, and uh, as you can see, everything in this game is really reactive to the time of day. So if you uh, are constantly feeding him, you know, pink, and then he ends up, oops, he ends up pink in the sunset, like he turns this really cool, kind of pinky, orangey, beautiful color. Um, 
messing with his color, seeing what color he becomes, and then seeing how he looks at night, how he looks in sunset. Okay, let's see what's up with him. actually the starting point of the game. Everything up until now was just basically tutorial. Um, so there's a lot to do, a lot to see, and a lot of really funny, colorful characters that you're going to get to get to know. And I just really love everything about this little thing. Uh, anything else that you feel like I didn't cover? Any questions you have? Anything you want to see more of? I can just pet the dragon for like an hour. Actually, I'm not going to because I'm hungry. We'll pet the dragon ball. I wait to see if any of you guys have anything you'd like to ask. Let's see, dragon. Yeah, if you're ever just completely out of mood, you can just spend like an hour just petting your dragon and his uh, stamina bar will fill back up. obviously a really big fan and I'm so happy that so many other people are so excited about this uh, ridiculously adorable little title. Thanks for popping in. Um, I really had fun chatting with you guys. I hope to be streaming this more after my embargo lifts and I can share you later parts of the game. Uh, but hopefully by then you'll be playing it by yourselves. For yourselves. Not necessarily by yourselves. That sounds mean. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> so... Thanks guys, uh, we will be back. Lots more from Gaming Trend, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.